Speaking of retirement, we've got the retirement guru here, Jim Jones. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you got me to this one too. Oh. Yep. Get okay. that. IRA exchange. You're up. Darren, thank you so much for having me. I'm greatly uh, appreciated to be here. And among such uh, brilliant panelists, I truly am not worthy. Um, I'm a recovering uh, Wall Streeter, Merrill Lynch uh, to be specific, in wealth management. And uh, during my time there in my 30s and 40s, um, well, I thought I knew everything about everything. I thought I knew a lot about investing. Um, which basically consisted of stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. Um, I come to realize, um, getting into the alternative industry for the demographics of the average uh, wealthy uh, family, about 40%, uh, the largest asset is real estate, uh, 35 to 40% is private equity and private debt, and public markets are less than 20%. So um, very, uh, interesting to be in this industry. I was actually at a former custodian uh, who was making an investment uh, with their self-directed IRA in uh, one of the early peer-to-peer -peer platforms. And uh, my compliance department came back and said, well, um, that's illegal, that peer-to-peer -peer stuff. You can't do that. And um, quickly uh, called the client to give him the bad news. And he laughed. He said, yeah, I'm, I've heard this before. There's actually a crowdfunding conference going on in New York City uh, in two weeks. So I went down and it was Dara Albright who was hosting one of the first events and completely opened my eyes to this alternative world, especially with retirement accounts. And fortunately, she's been a, a, a great supporter and uh, it's, it's been a great journey. So that being said, um, we'll just touch on the, the actual retirement market. Um, for the first time in, uh, since 1975, Individual retirement accounts has surpassed the size of corporate pensions and 401ks. It's a $7.6 trillion market in individual retirement accounts, which is about 50 million IRAs. The reason for that is you've got 10,000 baby boomers retiring every day. Last year, there was almost $400 billion rolling over from 401ks into individual retirement accounts. That money is looking for a home to be invested. And I think a portion of that should be invested in this market. Another interesting factor, uh, for every dollar in checking and savings that's earmarked for investing, there's $12 available in retirement accounts. So let's take a look. According to the American Association of Individual Investors, the, the, the demographic of the average IRA holder is approximately 50 years old and has a $100,000 IRA. They're saying that 50-year-old should be somewhere around 50% fixed income, 50% diversified stocks. Uh, the average return is about 6%. Uh, we'll allow this person to live to 80 years old and they'll have a little under $600,000. If we incorporate and replace the fixed income with crowd-centric alternatives, that's yielding about 11% annual growth. The result of that is over two and a quarter million dollars. If I take that same exact scenario, a 50-year-old with a $100,000 IRA, which by the way, no additional contributions at all, just letting that grow, the difference between a taxable investment account and having that in a retirement account is more than double if that account stays and compounds within a retirement account. So within this industry, in the crowd-centric, which is real estate crowdfunding, marketplace lending, peer-to-peer -peer lending, equity startups, 506Cs, only about 1% are utilizing retirement accounts, which need a self-directed IRA. The reason, three, technology integration, or the lack of, essentially, in order to utilize a self-directed IRA, it's a three-step process of opening an account, funding that, bringing money over from your Schwab or E-Trade or Fidelity Merrill Lynch, um, being able to uh, fund the account and then make the investment. And currently, that's, it's a very cumbersome, paper-driven, offline process. 
Um, the next is education. Most people don't know what a self-directed IRA is or that they can even use retirement funds to invest in these crowd-centric alternatives. And the biggest problem is distribution. It's basically uh, been, a, been an issue of um, poll marketing, if you will, bringing investors to those uh, platforms and where we think the distribution is going to be ultimately will be out through the advisory community. So what I've done to address those three situations, the first, uh, it's been a long five or six year journey in creating the technology solution. And so with a, with a strategic relationship with IRA services you'll hear from next, they were able to drop that 40 year old legacy IT system that the industry was based on and completely scrap it and build from the ground up a cloud-based API driven solution. Everything remains on the client platform. The investor no longer has to leave that site, go to a separate self-directed IRA custodian, go through that, that three-step process of four, six, eight weeks, and then try and get the two talking. Everything is integrated. The next thing uh, I've done, and we're working on education uh, of eBooks, articles, webinars, podcasts, these regional investor conferences. When I speak at these conferences, I try to make it relevant to uh, Title II, Title III, Title IV, what's happening in the regulatory environment. And yet, I have a lot of these very wealthy, successful CEOs ask such basic questions. So what's the best way to move my money over? Is it a rollover? Is it a transfer? Um, what's the tax consequences of liquidating my Fidelity account? Which is none, but it's basic questions that we, we get most of the time. So we're focusing on uh, education. And then lastly, in the ecosystem, we're gonna be building out a true exchange where advisors, investors, and investment sponsors come together via a series of television events, retirement radio, we're talking with the local folks here of Radio X, um, customized video and podcasts. Thank you. <laughs>